Hey guys, it's Parsifal. I also go by Will, and I am back with another sketchbook tour. This one is a Mossery sketchbook that I'm really excited for. I got it for Christmas from my friend Tori, and it's got really, really cute dogs on it. I love, I love his hat. I love his hat a lot. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to try this out because I've always wanted to try a Mossery sketchbook. And so... I finished this in about a month. I started it on the new year, and admittedly, I don't have really anything in the front sections, so I'm gonna actually skip past those. I should have used, the, like, the graph paper and stuff, but I didn't, so oops. But I started it on the 1st, and I finished it on the 31st of January, so it took me just about a month. And I will be excited to talk to you guys about all the stuff I learned about it and whether I think it's a right sketchbook for me and if not who I think it's for. So this was what I want to start off with. I wanted to start off with a quote because I was super anxious about starting the sketchbook because I wanted it to be special since I was trying it out for the first time. It's kind of expensive. It's like 25 to 30 dollars depending on this type of sketchbook cover you get and I really didn't want to waste this sketchbook. Not that I think that you can waste a sketchbook, but you know what I mean. It was like I wanted to put good stuff in it. So I started with this quote. This is a Henry Matisse quote that I cropped, and it's a quote that says, if an artist wants to paint the rose, he must first forget all the roses that were ever painted. And it's just sort of a statement of, if you want to truly be creative, it's going to be difficult because all your inspiration comes from everywhere else. So I thought that was a really cool quote and I want to put that into my sketchbook. And I started with some doodles on my OC War Machine and a sketchbook page. And this is hard to see because it's all light blue uh, pencil, but this is my uh, friend Ash's OC Lease. And it's to the song Snow Beast because uh, Lease is a snow queen. Then an art trade with my friend Emily, uh, some doodles of some OCs that I have. This is Flynn, and this is uh, Edmund, and Flynn is a horoscope dude, and Edmund is just tired. Then my OC series, and an art trade with my friend Vika. This is her OC Ennit, and I love Ennit a lot. Then some doodles because I went on a trip, so I did these on the plane. This is my OC Maeve, and I have not named this character yet. Another art trade is for Ichigo Adopts, and I had fun using like a fine liner pen for this to do all the details, though I don't normally work that fine. Probably should. And this is more Flynn. And I decorated the pages with um, washi tape if there was extra space, because I thought that was nice. Uh, ballpoint pen sketches of an OC who I'm trying to figure out the hair for, and then a, uh, I don't know if furry is the right word, but like, has ears and a tail, so like a camo Mimi type OC named Rince. My cousin's uh, OC Gunner, and more of that character that I'm trying to figure out, uh, her hair. Uh, I think I named her Mongoose, because she's like an angry redhead, which reminds me of like, mongoose fighting cobras and stuff like that. My OC Lyra, another OC I haven't named yet that I'm just trying to figure out the hair for. I did a lot of stuff where um, I'm just sort of doodling designs that I have that don't really have names or stories just because I'm trying to sort of, it's not quite an art block but I'm trying to get out of this rut that I'm in where I'm not super inspired so I just draw whatever's in front of me and I give myself stuff to draw. This is Grey. She's another one of my OCs that I got recently just to draw. And Gwyn, she's a fighty cat girl. More series and another art trade with Ash for their OC Flora. She's got cotton candy hair. And what I've noticed um, through a lot of these is that I actually really like how this paper takes to like pencil and stuff like that. But not so much pen, especially ballpoint pen. I've seen a lot of people use ballpoint pen, and maybe it's just because they don't have the right paper. 
Uh, this is the mixed media paper, and here's a sketch page of my OC Detivo. Again, it's hard to read because it's with a blue pencil and on a green background, so it's a little bit hard to read, but he's looking for his knife. Um, but yeah, it's got really nice um, paper texture, and I like how it works with color, and I like how the ink settles on it. Um, this is Karina for my baby sibling TK, and Katarina for Ash. I love her face. I, I actually really love how this headshot chart came out. But I, well, I liked how it's sketched with like pencil, and this is just like ink residue from the other opposite page. Whoops. Um, I didn't particularly like how like a fine liner or mid liner worked on it. I'm sorry for the noise, my roommates probably. Uh, it worked fine with brush pen and pencil, but just like a ballpoint pen was really hard to use on this, which is weird because. I like, this is uh, my friend Elevera's character, uh, their character L. And then this is Alex with TK. Uh, my OC Paris in a cute Sailor Moon outfit because I saw it and I wanted to make a joke. Um, my OC Levine. But yeah. I was so confused because I've seen a lot of people use ballpoint pen in these, and I just didn't like how it felt. The ink wash was fine, but I didn't like how the ballpoint pen felt. It was really weird, and I wasn't super fond of it, honestly. Um, I don't really understand how people use ballpoint pen on this, because the texture just made it really hard for the uh, pen to make a clean line, unless it was like a brush pen. But... I don't know, it just, it didn't quite work for me unless I was working with brush pen. I do work with brush pen a lot, so that wasn't really a problem, but I don't know, I guess I, for some reason, thought that more people use ballpoint pen in these, and it's really not meant for that, unless the watercolor paper is more like that. Some hair memes in my OC series. I'd love to try the watercolor paper at some point, so I might give it a shot again. But I'm not really sure if it was just, like, me using the wrong mediums or if it was just me not understanding that the mixed media paper doesn't work for certain media types. This is Eaglet. But, like, overall, I actually did like how this sketchbook felt. I think that I went through it very, very fast, and I don't think I would get it for a day-to-day -day sketchbook, but all things considered, I had a lot of fun with it, and it felt really nice to work in. It's just a little bit too expensive for my personal day-to-day -day life to get it as a regular sketchbook, but then again, when do I ever get a regular sketchbook? I just make mine. I definitely did feel better than, like, my handmade ones, but... I, like, I don't know if I would, like, buy it again with my own money besides testing out the watercolor paper for the next one, if that makes any sense. But I think I did fill it with a lot of stuff that I'm very happy with, and I had fun with. And then I just had the swatch page and all, like, the stuff that it came with. This was, like, around the front of it and stuff like that, and I have my post-its. But yeah. I had a lot of fun with this sketchbook, and I'm very happy to have experienced it. Even though it's not something that I would get for a day-to-day, -day, I'd definitely pick it up if you don't work in sketchbooks as fast as I do and fill the pages with more complete works as opposed to sketches. This is not really a sketchbook. This is like a fin book to put finished pieces in or finalized pieces in, something nice. Um... But I really enjoyed it, and I would recommend it for other people to try if they're getting it for, like, more finished pieces. Not necessarily, like, as a sketch or thumbnail book. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this sketchbook tour today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Well, that's the end of this video.
As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, or contact me on any of my social media, which is linked in the description below. I also have my Patreon there if you guys want to throw a monthly donation at me. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you next time. Bye!